I'm Patrick Bailey with iQLA. Today is May 13th, 2022. In this video, I'm going, going to show off and how to use an open SCAD file to add a secret compartment to the Wonder Woman bust by Eastman. Okay, so here's the Wonder Woman uh, statue bust. Is that the right word? And I, I love it. I've printed this one out before. And he has done a great job on some of the, some of the different models I've seen because he knows to adjust it correctly so that you can print it without supports. I am very anti-support unless it absolutely is needed. And he has just done this beautiful job. It, it's just, it's beautiful. So it's a great one to, to print out. All I did is I added the open SCAD that you take his model as is and apply it to it, which hollows this out. And then of course I made a, th a thread, a little plug here in, in uh, Fusion 360 and I did make the threads in Fusion 360 to be added, but the open SCAD hollows it out. I don't know if you can see in there. And then you got a little secret compartment way. I don't know if I get the light. Eh, I'm not gonna hit the light very well, am I? Somewhere. Is that better? You hold still. Well, anyway, it's fairly deep. I can stick my whole finger in there so but the idea is uh, it's an interesting idea because um, a lot of 3d printing is about modding other people's prints making improvements making changes I wouldn't call this an improvement it's just a you know a little addition that you can store it and in this case he did um, well we'll go over the details in a minute but he reserved all the rights so you can't modify it and put it out and I am not doing that in this case I am putting the tools together so other people can modify it. So you download it from him, you download my portion, you put them together and you get this. So and I guess it's dinner time. Anyway, with that, let's go over the details and talk about this. Okay, let's show some URLs then go over the details. So here, it is on printables, Wonder Woman Bust by Eastman. It's a great model. I printed it out before. In fact, the one I printed out last year was a little shorter for some reason, just by default. Now he's got a little bit taller. Uh, and I like it. I think it's a great model. It's going to be one of those cool things to show off at the homeschool conference. I think people will like. There's a lot of things I print um, to give away. Some things I print just to show off. And sometimes I love um, I love statues that are done with uh, 3D printing in mind in such a way that the angle is such a way that you can print it without supports. Because I'm very anti-support unless there's a really good reason to do it. And this is done in such a way that there's no supports needed. And people kind of marvel at it, the fact that you can do something like this. Uh, it's just amazing. Statues always amaze people. And, I, and I'm always amazed when people can do them in such a way that they don't need supports. And he did a great job with this. Uh, also, you can go check out his printables page. He has a lot of really cool stuff out here. I need to go print a few, like Darth Vader. I should print that one out. It's cool. There's a lot of little cool things he does here. But also let you know, he has a um, he has a Patreon. So go check out his Patreon. And it sounds like he makes a lot more stuff available on there. So go check him out. Uh, if that's the kind of thing you like, support people like that. It's a great thing to do. And he does some, I like his designs. And I'm, I'm really happy to give a couple away for free. Uh, so people can kind of test the water, see what they like. And it's just great stuff to show. Great stuff to show. So now I put this out, Wonderman Mod. So there's my link. Now here's the thing. And I'm trying to contact Eastman just to see what he thinks and what he wants to do. He, of course, completely owns these. He has every right to do whatever copyright he wants. And I am perfectly okay with that. I'm especially okay with that when he makes these really cool models. And if you look at here, um, there's no remix culture allowed, which makes perfect sense with these beautiful models. I mean, he owns them, let him control them, do a great job. So what I've done here, and this adds to a little bit of um, more work on your part if you want to do this, is I, even though I've rendered this model and I've made it, I cannot put the full STL file out because he owns it, rightfully so, and I should not put this out. But what I have put out here is the open SCAD file. So you can take his file, download it, take my open SCAD file with a couple of STL files I added there for the threads, and then push a button and dice and slice his model and then print it out. And so I'm not, in this case, I want to make it well aware I don't want to infringe on his rights, and I'm not. This is like you taking it home and fiddling with it yourself. So feel free to do that. But I'm also pinging him for convenience. Like if it's something that he thinks is neat, that he likes, that his people might like, I, you know, I will gladly give him my simple model for him just to upload that simple model or maybe some modification of it because it's his model. 
and uh, make little hidden, hidden compartments. I think it's a cool idea. And that way it's more convenient for, if you decide to do that, it's more convenient for people just to let download it and have it all in one go versus they got to download this and combine it. But, you know, we do that because we want to protect his rights and protect his Patreon, um, which I think is more than valid, more than good to do. There's a, no problem, no issue with what he's doing. Um, and no issue with what I'm doing. It's just a little bit more inconvenient, but we got to protect people. we got to protect people and their rights and their property. So anyway, you can go download this and fiddle with it. But if you download it, you download all the files, which include, in my case, you know, a couple of the threads. And you go grab his, and you have the OpenSCAD file. And I'll pull it over here. I just kind of pre-rendered this one. If you come up here and you change the split view to true, it'll cut it in half. And that way you can kind of see what's going on. And if, if you want to fiddle with it some, some more yourself. And so you can see there's the cutout there. Now, if you do a full render, it takes a little while for it to render like this. Uh, but it's really cool and smooth. And I need to actually probably try to print the half one out just so I can show it off at the conference so people can see what the inside looks like. But with that, let me just go show uh, this one where I'm not fully rendered. Uh, and for those who may be unfamiliar with OpenSCAD, if you click this button, it'll do the quick rendering to preview. If you do this button, it'll actually do the render to, to prep it as an STL file, and then you can save it as an STL file. However, if I push this button, it'll take a while to render because there's a lot of com complex things going on here. But you can see what I'm doing is I'm importing this thread, and then I got these uh, two areas in here. So we can go tweak it real quick. Well, well, before we tweak it, let's go over the numbers. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's go over the numbers. So to print this whole thing out, it took 18 hours and 15 minutes to print. It took 15.9 cents electricity, and it weighs 0.128 kilograms, and at $20 per kilogram comes out to $2.56 worth of material. So all in to print this whole guy out, uh, my modified version with the hole with, is $2.72. And that's probably pretty close to, if you print it out without the hole, you're probably pretty pretty close to that price. You're probably talking 3 bucks to print the whole thing. Not too bad. And this is one of those cool things to show off. Um, and a lot of other models are really cool. There's going to be... Um, well worthwhile. Well worthwhile to show those things off. Okay, so back onto this. Uh, so I've been filling with OpenSCAD a lot here lately. And basically what I've done here, let me go, I'll remove that thread here real quick. Boom, boom. Just so we can visit with that thread. And so some of the things are pretty simple. I found out that you can do holes between 3D objects. And that is the fun part. So if here I go, let me erase these holes. So here is this red part. So if I do that, what I actually have done is here is, uh, here at the bottom is a cylinder. So here's that cylinder at the bottom. Pretty simple. And up at the top here, all I've done is a sphere. So here's that sphere right here. And then if you put a hull around them, it just logically connects them together. And boom. So you can do that. And if I wanted to, for some reason, you know, transfer that, move that over. If I want to say, like, you know, move that little sphere over a little bit, make negative 10 or something. I don't think it makes any sense, but you could. And now it it scooted it. Oh, it scooted it in. I don't want to do that way. I don't want to do it probably this way. There you go. That's the logic. So, yeah, if you want to do it that way, maybe you could get more space in there or something. But also, you got to think about where you do this. It takes a little while to render, and also you got to make sure you're not you're actually getting. No, you're not cutting a hole in it. Uh, and also with this, there's something, I think this sculptor probably doesn't lend itself to this, but some of the other ones might. I've been thinking about what happens if, could you make a, a big space up towards the top of something and then cut a coin slot in it and effectively make a piggy bank? Um, I haven't tried that yet. I don't think this is the model to do it because it's too, um, too narrow, I think. But eh, maybe you could make it happen. But anyway, there it is. You can do some tweaks and adjustments to your heart's content. In fact, actually, that doesn't look too bad doing negative 10 there. It's probably, it might get you more, a little more space. But, you know, it's a secret compartment. How much space do you need? But anyway, there's the OpenSCAD. Download it, render it, uh, print it out, and check it out. You know, that actually might just get you close. <laughs> that might be a little better where you're not getting too close to the outside. Got to think about that one. Anyway, uh, with that, let's wrap this up uh, with a reminder that 3D printing is an engineering adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and your knowledge, and you can take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others. 
and you can make some amazing designs. So design it, engineer it. I designed a Thai fridge magnet for Father's Day. By the time this video goes live, it should be posted on printables. If you want to see a picture of it, check out my post on the community page at YouTube or check out printables.com. I think it's going to be a big dorky hit, so I'm going to print out at least half a dozen for the upcoming conference. Wait, no, I, I should print at least a dozen. What I don't sell, I know I can pass up to some fathers I know in my life, and they can use them for their kids' fridge artwork collection.